come on. There's got to be something in here that can help. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Love with Wolfman. And we are back to continue our Evil Dead series review. We are going to be talking about the 2013 Evil Dead remake today, directed by Fede Alvarez. And this one, for me, is very high up there on my list of Evil Dead movies. I absolutely loved this film because... It took the Evil Dead idea and made it really horror-centric. Like, mm -hmm. less, very, very little comedy, maybe a couple little jokes here and there, but that's it. Like, there was not dancing ghouls, there was mm -hmm. not, you know, Three Stooges material, there was none of that. This was a straight horror version of this story, and I have seen it now a few times over the years. I saw it when it came out. I saw it once or twice along the way between 2013 and now, and then once again rewatched it. Uh, the unrated version yep. here ahead of this series review, and I gotta say, I still absolutely love this film. This is, you know, really great Evil Dead stuff. They changed the lore a little bit, or or deepened the lore after a fashion, in my opinion, and. You know, while there was a couple of shallow characters a bit, it was still overall such an entertaining package, and I really love this film. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not a huge fan of this movie. <laughs> There's a lot I can appreciate about it, especially on the the straight horror elements of what they went for. Basically, it was this is what the original Evil Dead wanted and should have been on the on the scares of brutality. Like the the effects on this, and we'll get into this later. It excelled. They're like this movie did excel in a lot of places. My issues were with some story aspects, and like, and it was just it was certain things like with the with the lore. Like they were basically they rewrote they rewrote most of the lore, and it just it didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> I personally didn't like the sacrifice stuff, and then like them changing the uh, the demon. It, it's just. It didn't necessarily work. Those elements didn't work for me. But a lot of the other stuff, like I liked the makeup aspects of it. They still kept them very plain looking, and then just threw some contacts and like you know scuffed them up and shit. Even like that. beyond that, though, the brutality Absolutely. of the violence. It's it well and that 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 plays in too with like the story elements being all like 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 a part of like a sacrifice, so everyone would mutilate themselves in like a certain way. Well, not only that, but, you know, the brutality of the actual violence between the characters, oh, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's aggressively like, we had terrible. Like, we had talked earlier about, like, a bathroom scene with a, a hypodermic, hypodermic needle. Hypodermic needle is just like, like, oh, my God. That dude. that scene, absolutely. Like, there was there was a lot of scenes that, that did make me cringe, and I liked it. I did like it, but there was just, there were still some elements that I'm, I'm not happy with. <laughs> I, I don't give a, I don't I care. only think I that, I think that you hell. only don't like it because you're so attached to the old stuff, though. Not necessarily. I can... I like I think I, it's still well presented in the version that they've set for themselves. Again, my issue was the changing of the lore. 
It's just yeah, that but that's wasn't, not. But this movie was, wasn't bad because the lore no, was changed. And it that's, was just different. That, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like there were a lot of elements I can appreciate and I like about this all movie. Right, right. It's some story elements that I that's did not fair. like. That's fair. Look, I'm not gonna come down on you for it. Like, but this have. is the first time that we're. No, I haven't. <laughs> um, oh, you want me to? No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm Buster. Gonna, no, no, no. I, I just this is the first time that we've dissented a little bit on our opinion. A little here. bit and everything. But I really, really love this. movie movie because they went so hard into the paint on the horror of it mm -hmm. you know the the gore was very pronounced and that's always been something that I've said on the mm -hmm. channel that I love when movies really go for the gore I am pushing the gore limits for Dylan's new nightmare in my opinion so like I really love gore in my horror movies mm -hmm. so I am really excited when I get to see a movie like this that goes as hard as it does with the gore now it does get a little silly at times you know, especially towards the very, very ends, like that's where we get the very Sam Raimi esque, you know, with the chainsaw through the face kind of thing of the yeah. finale, you know. But yeah, and the, gonna... it's still so much fun though the whole way through, as much of a horror movie as it is. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, there's so much to love about this. They did particular take. They did especially. They opinion. did take a one very cheap route and everything with killing the dog. That made that that, well, okay. that literally served no purpose. For no, the story. but the way it was presented was great. Like he just finds the body of the dog. Well, yeah, and, and then it it's just a very back. quick flash of her with a hammer going. Yeah, ah! but it's still, like that's disturbing as hell. It is, but at the same time, I don't feel like it. It served an actual purpose in the story. It just showed that the de the deadite was taking over. Yeah, I don't know. I loved it. Like I it's know. you know. I got. But an, apparently, I, got, I have a thing about killing dogs. Yeah, I have. Well, I have, I have an issue pitch. about just killing animals in movies, <laughs> anyways. So. Yeah, check out my most recent episode of Elevator Pitch if you want to see it me is in association the most with bat shit and off the dogs wall. dying. <laughs> yeah, emotional ferrets and. But uh, but nonetheless, dude, uh, Evil Dead twenty thirteen was solid, I think, with the acting for the most part. There mm -hmm. were a couple characters that were a little bit weaker. I think the main brother is actually one of the weaker elements of the movie. Yeah, but his, his... Mia was great. Mm -hmm. The other friends were great. I think the, the dude with glasses and long hair, while his the character... The one who fucked up everything. Yeah, while that is largely unexplained as to why he did it, I think that he was still a good portrayal of the character. You yeah, know what I mean? no, I would, I would agree he on that. He dealt with his script very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. I um in the kind of kind of segueing off like well not really like off the action because everyone played their parts very well. The brother I would say again, he was the weakest of the elements on acting wise. Mm -hmm. Our main girl uh, Jane Levy, Levy? Jane, yep. Mm -hmm. um, One of those. Yeah, who played uh, played <laughs> Mia. Um she she was fantastic. Again, it was, I felt like there was some just weak writing so like you only give so much of a delivery from certain writing and mm -hmm. she there was a couple times a couple lines where i felt like she fell flat well but there was sometimes where she really extended she really, really in. far too oh, where, absolutely. Like, when when she is first possessed and her brother goes in to see what's wrong and sh and her eyes are so wide and she's like Wait, yeah like, mm -hmm. that shit was unnerving with her performance, dude. I will agree. Like, I you know, the agree. acting was really solid at times in this movie. Mm -hmm. I will agree. So, I mean, it wasn't everyone through the mm -hmm. entire film, but, you know, there was some seriously solid shit from the main characters most but times. But where this, where I think we'll segue into next, and where this mm -hmm. movie absolutely excelled and soared, were the special effects and the uh, set yes. design. Like they yeah. they did a fantastic cabin job. Cabin was amazing. Yeah, because the they, woods were amazing. Because they even showed they like, we got a little bit like outside of the the cabin area mm -hmm. through, and we got a little uh, little shot of the uh, Delta mm -hmm. all broken down and mm -hmm. everything like mm -hmm. that. So that was a nice little callback that they threw in there. But also too, it's like they changed it from from a bridge to basically you know like a a, a river washout. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Those little details, I appreciated those. Mm -hmm. That's that's definite. Like the cabin design was cool because they. They recreated it close enough, but still made it a a, a new cabin. Well, and it, and it wasn't the slapstick of the thing busting through every door of the cabin, too. True, but I, I still feel like they could have done a better service to the demon at the very end versus just... No, I agree. A naked, a naked zombie chick. Yeah. It, that was I garbage. Agree. I agree. So compared to the Kandarian demon that shows up at the end of Evil Dead 2, mm -hmm. this is a, unfortunately... 
lackluster. Substandard, yeah, lackluster ending. And considering also that there was a arm chopping moment earlier in the movie, it that seems like playing that beat twice towards the end with Mia herself yeah, and honestly, was a little unnecessary. With how her hand got pinned under that Jeep, you're not ripping it off like that. No. Get, get the fuck out of here. And also, too, I'm going to mention this real quick. They missed a golden opportunity to play Raining Blood from Slayer at that scene. Oh, give me a break. I'm just saying. Get over it. I'm just saying. It, go- it would have worked out. I wouldn't have recognized it, so it wouldn't have well, fucking mattered. Because you don't listen to Slayer. Yeah. Well, guess what? We're not doing it just for Slayer fans. We're doing I'm it for people as a whole. Hey, man. <laughs> just because just you're not part of the cool crowd. Oh, fair enough. All Heck, right, man. whatever. I'll take it. I'm, I have never... It's not that I'm not a Slayer fan. I just have never explored their stuff very far. You, you know what I mean? Right, should. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I should. So, you know what, guys? This is a phenomenal movie mm-hmm. still. Evil the Dead 2013, 10 years old, still holds the hell up. The mm-hmm. gore, you know, the gore version, which is the one that we watched for this review, it's awesome. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's a little bit, it goes a little bit farther at a couple different places, but it's not tremendously different from mm-hmm. the theatrical cut. But Man Alive is it a lot of fun, and Man Alive is it... You know, a lot of people might say it's gore for gore's sake, but I don't feel that that's the case with this. It just, you know, it's really well done, disturbing Mm -hmm. stuff. And I I love the hell out of Mm -hmm. Evil Dead 2013. It was definitely effective. And again, like, there's a lot of, like I've said before, like I said earlier in the review, I should say, is there's a lot you can still appreciate about this movie from Mm -hmm. what they did. I have my own personal little gripes. That's but there's a still, like I said, a lot I appreciate. Well, the Denites themselves, let's talk about that briefly, just because in, in appearance, in, in appearance, it's they, different. It was different. It's not raised it, eyebrows and stuff like, no. like you guys are familiar with, considering mm-hmm. our cold opens. I, 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 <laughs> I, I would have uh, liked to have seen at least a little bit more of a, 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 a facial distortion. And everything. It's just the yellow eyes and the pale pallor. Yeah, you know? and then like because also too they're it's they're playing more on that self mutilation. Yeah, kind yeah, of, that's kind of thing. and that is very disturbing. It is, it is. That is but very disturbing. To, to have some, but I, it requires some setup. Yeah, you know? if if you're possessed by a de- like a demon, there's, there's going to be some. Evil Ed was scary immediately when his Abs- when he was taken a- over. Absolutely. Yeah, this in this one it takes some time for them to make themselves scary. Yeah, um, but. You know, it's a lot more visceral mm-hmm. how they make themselves scary as Agreed. opposed to silly. Agreed. So it, it works just on a different level from the other one. Like, I find this one almost as enjoyable to watch as Evil Dead 2 just for different reasons, in my opinion. That's, That's my fair. opinion. That's fair. But, uh, but yeah, Evil Dead 2013, you guys, if you are not a big fan, if you haven't watched it in a while, I definitely recommend you giving it a rewatch. If you haven't seen it, definitely recommend you do so. Thank you guys for watching the continued reviews of this series. There's only one left at this point, and that's the brand new one coming out soon. So uh, that review should go up tomorrow. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the channel the way that you do. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Rob the Wolfman. And remember, stay Stay scared. scared.